Hello, my name is Mark Harshman. I live in Wheeling, West Virginia, and I am currently the Poet Laureate of West Virginia. And I am very happy to join in this celebration of West Virginia poetry for the 25th anniversary of National Poetry Month. Uh, my special thanks to Renee Nicholson for inviting me to join the party. The poem I'm going to read, uh, not quite haphazardly, it's the title, is from my collection, Believe What You Can, published by the Vandalia Press of West Virginia University. It's a peculiar poem in that it's very old and somehow, as I reread it today, it seems to have become more relevant. Uh, I all hope that's the case. It doesn't happen often, but in this case, I hope that it does. There is an epigraph to the poem by the American poet Peyton Halston, who I consider one of the most overlooked poets of um, the 20th century. Now deceased, his books were primarily published by Jonathan Williams' landmark Jargon Society Press. Not quite haphazardly. The questions are not answerable, but you are, Peyton Halston. Because bitterness is feeding the children, because the crowds before the caskets have shrunk, because fear nurtures our neighborliness, because the leaves are falling not quite haphazardly, falling in a light as golden as oak and poplar, against a sky as many chambered as crystal, because we have been here under this and not seen and been here seeing nothing for so long that our lying about it has grown brilliant as technicolor, because there are times when we get another chance, when the sky breaks, crumbles, rains down in great slashings, the leaves gushing along the gutters in slurries of faded pigment, because it has happened once, and so we remember to look, to reach for it, Again, thinking it is sky, that it is rain, that it will be enough, and it isn't. But we remember, because the crying beyond the fence is of children, and the blood seeping below the gate is near, because near is not so far, and the distances have come closer, and because we can still find the crack in the wall, because we open that gate every day because we can see between the floorboards, still find a place to stand because we know, we know fence and gate and floor, know the futility of avarice, know we have tasted sweet and green and fruit and carousels and even childhood because we have also known bitterness, have never lost its taste, and because the future has come again, and because we have come near it looking, looking for a lens as clear as one of those once upon a time days when we had seen deep and beyond time, because now we hear a voice and move, turn toward it, because it is near, because there is sky and rushing water, because there are yet flowers and stones, because there are leaves falling, not quite haphazardly, because there are times when we get another chance. Hats off to National Poetry Month, and thank you very much.